Welcome to this video playing the Blitzkicker, FM Blitzkicker from the Netherlands. What is he playing? Okay, we have a, a Nimzo. Yeah, this is my preferred line against this opening. But knight f3, after that I am playing, I think, this one. And I tend to forget the lines, so <laughs> need to be a bit careful playing this intermediate move on the queen. Yeah, queen c2 now is the, the normal continuation. And then I go bishop e7, and we go from there. White um, has a bad pawn structure, but uh, he enjoys a very good bishop on g2, of course with pressure on b7. Yeah, here is a situation where I can uh, give up the pawn if I want. I'm not sure if I do it right away. Yeah, I think I think you just castle here. And uh, I'm forgetting my my own uh, my own book recommendation here. As it happens <laughs> quite often. Um queen a5 maybe. Mm. Or just move the knight. Knight g6. Yeah, he can take on b7, but I don't fear that very much. Maybe, maybe this move. And now a6, queen c7. Bishop b7, rook b8 is not, not very dangerous. Yeah, from a structural point of view, black is in excellent shape, but the bishop on, uh, yeah, yeah, this bishop is, is a dangerous piece and white might get activity with f4, f5 and stuff. Okay, f5, I go knight e5, that, that much is clear. Should I do d6, d6, f5, knight e5, I don't know. Hmm, maybe I should, should really play that sometime. So that I have b6, bishop b7 available. After f5, I can play knight e5. And I rather have this this structure with the pawn on d7 than on d6, so that e6 is not weakened. Yeah, it looks fairly okay. Maybe, hmm, has, does he have some move? Maybe if he moves the knight, the d4 knight somewhere, he can play with bishop b6. Huh? Maybe. Maybe I should have played bishop c5 really. This is this is probably not a bad idea. Controlling controlling important squares and making it maybe difficult for him to, to move the knight. Can go to c2, but not sure how, how good this is. Okay, so Mm. <laughs> ah, what about is e5 a rotten move here e5 if he takes i should really ah, he's got d5 but i also got a very nice knight on e5 then <laughs> complicated if he takes knight takes <laughs> not sure maybe maybe a prep move first Prep for e5. Um, if I take that queen c5, uh, then e5. Isn't this quite okay? Takes takes. Can play rook d3 maybe. Hmm. But I also can just play bishop d7. Huh? Yeah, this is a simple, simple solution. Simple solution. Preparing bishop c6, which is also very desirable. Bishop c6 now or first taking? 
maybe also relocate the knight. He still runs into a check. If I take, it will be with a check on c5. And I have knight f5 maybe coming. Yeah, okay. The knight is good on f5. Yeah, I like this. This is a good position, I believe. Knight f5. I can also play e5 now. Not sure about that, but I don't have so much time. Yeah, it looks weird. Huh? He takes, queen takes with check. Looks very, very good for black. Check. It's also bishop f5 after e3 for example to take on uh, on c2 or bishop c6 which is also definitely a good move hmm, not sure what's better bishop g4 also also not bad or bishop e6 Attacking c4. It's maybe the, the easiest move. He's got queen b4. Maybe queen b4 is a defense. Hmm. I didn't think about that one. Uh, maybe I should have. Yeah, stupid to not think about the move. Time warning. Just um, have given him this move here. Almost for free. It's not I'm not in a bad uh, in a bad situation, but but uh, I would have I think I, I had some something better probably. The idea here is that he's a little bit overloaded with the knight here and those pins. Hmm. Yeah. The most uh, problematic thing here is the time, actually, as it is so often. Position is, uh, is pretty good. To put it mildly, I think I'm winning material now. Some pawn is going to going to get lost now. At least some pawn, if not two. C takes bishop e4. If he takes here, I can take on e3. And the rook is attacked, and there was knight e4. So b4 or capture, maybe just capture here. Oh, Check. this this I'm white. Resigns. This I'm taking. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a pretty good position, really here around here, because uh, I had uh, somehow soaked up the the early pressure on the queen side, and somehow White's pieces didn't uh, work together too well. Um, I I really don't know if I played it in the best way possible though. But it it was okay, I believe, up to. Up to here certainly but I'm not Check. sure that here I played the best one and I'm curious about that I went bishop to e6 mm, yeah the best seems to be bishop f5 yeah yeah you probably should uh, go with the the first <laughs> instinct more often what I didn't really see is that if uh, he plays rook d2 now which looks like he really must do that I should um, probably think very. I should think about this move here. Using this awkward situation with the pin and the B file. Yeah, this looks pretty good for black. I have um, some ideas here also with taking. And maybe knight f5 later. 
yeah this this looks fine the whole line is not believed to be very good for white to be honest this is this whole business here but I, I of course I have uh, forgotten <laughs> forgotten some lines maybe Queen c7 is even better here possible but I felt I, I was okay here f4 is a is a debatable move it uh, it covers e5 and it certainly has a point but it also weakens quite considerably but, uh, around here I certainly have a good position here um, the immediate e5 also was interesting yeah computer gives black a good position here yeah I wasn't I wasn't totally sure especially considering that d6 is a good preparation move for for e5 and he really has no uh, great idea to to avoid it anyway it seems that this wasn't so great oops and e5 was more precise probably due to this idea which i didn't i didn't see i only saw it uh, later and, uh, around here black is certainly okay yeah, the problem is white has a, a really, really bad structure and he didn't get any great pressure here, com com combined pressure of the bishop and the b file. So uh, at the end, the, the better structure really was, uh, was paying off. Okay, thanks for watching.